All right, here we are. Uh, hello, welcome back to, uh, I guess this will be episode 15. We got a few here. Let's see, we get up to 8x. We got a basic prize. That's perfectly fine. Let's see what we get. Small XP lamp for range. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go with this one. Let's see what we get. What do we get? We got a, a large skill dummy. Uh, yeah, go ahead and send that to the bank. That's a little bit of agility XP, I guess. I don't know how many are in those. You know what? We're gonna go check, because if it's a lot, then, uh, let's see, we'll just teleport to Wars. It's probably my best anyway. We also, uh, sold that, uh, Armadillo Plate Buddy that didn't sell in the last episode that we got. There we are. So that's up to 15 mil cash stack. And then we will, uh... We'll get out this. How many are in here? Let's see. Use all crates. We're going to take agility dummies. Four agility dummies. It's going to be like... It's going to be a fair bit of XP. So we're going to do this, and we'll uh, we'll see what we get. We'll be back. We did it. We did it. We got 75 <laughs> agility. That means that that is one more, one more requirement for Plague's End done. And that means we're done here. We don't have to come back. I'm not worrying about comping ever yet. So uh, <laughs> we are done with, with agility. Uh, next on my list, what do we have here? We have a few things that we could do. Um, you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to try and get a new Reaper assignment. I'm not really very happy with uh, my Zilliana one. So we, we're going to try and get a new one. See what happens there. Uh, assignment. 75% of the Reaper points. Yeah. Krill. Yeah. We can do Krill. We're going to do some Krill. That sounds good. All right. Because I know I can do at least two of those a trip. And the, the getting KC for that's a little easier. So we're going to do that. Uh, we'll be back. All right. I might be wronged. Uh, I think this is the last piece of Zamorak War Priest that we need. So as soon as we get around to, uh, <laughs> I guess, unlocking a match, we'll disassemble all but one piece. Because I'm pretty sure the drop rate's way higher once you have one piece. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that's the case. And I'm pretty sure that's the last one we have. If I get another one, I mean, you'll see it. So you'll know if I was right or wrong. But I'm pretty sure. All right, here we are. We are actually going. See, I did it again. I did the all right thing. So we're going to go ahead and drink those. I'll go ahead and drink an anti-poison. And we're going to... We're going to try something different. We're going to protect from mage and augury as we come through the door and see what we can get done. So, Oh, he died. Oh, he was he was super close to death. Mm. Well, I guess we'll... Uh, hmm. I guess we will see what the other person got and what uh, we would have got. Right. It's not how that works. That's not how that works. It is not what we would have gotten, but... You know, I mean, it's something, I guess. So we'll we'll see what uh what we got in a second. I guess it's my drop. He's not here to take it. And super attacks. There's nothing there. All right, so we'll just wait around. Yeah. Okay, here we are on our own krill kill now. Uh, let's see here. That other drop has not yet appeared on the ground. We're praying mage this time. Because someone told me if you pray mage, then he won't spec you. So we're 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 trying it. <laughs> so far, I feel like I'm taking less damage, but it, I don't know what that really says. That drop has still not appeared. By the oh, and they lied. They totally lied to me. I am taking less damage overall, though. Like almost certainly. I don't know if that's because of a uh, because of augury, but I don't think I brought enough prayer this trip, which is actually awesome. But yeah, I don't think I don't think I brought enough prayer. So unless I get a drop, uh, this will probably be the only kill you see of this. But even then, that's still pretty damn sick. We're doing this easy now. Look at that. This game is so easy. Yeah, there we go. All right, we got some super restores and Zamrag brews that kill. Uh, I don't think the Zamorak brews are worth anything, really. So we're gonna we're gonna drop those and we're gonna pick up the potatoes. 
All right, again, a small update in the middle of this. We are like four kills, and this is our fifth kill of the trip. So Augury was a huge upgrade. We did we have not leveled up our actual stats since the last time we came here. So Augury is an absolute huge upgrade. Uh, I could not be happier right now with this. Oh, man, I am actually so happy. Maybe we could have done our Zillion a Reaper. Ah, that's unfortunate, but oh well. Uh, so, so we're here, yeah. We'll see. We finished up our krill kills, and we got a, we got some wines of samurai. Every single wine that we got was uh, actually this kill. Funnily enough, we didn't get any wines, uh, in any other trips, I don't think. But that is that. We'll go ahead and teleport to War's Retreat. We leveled up our uh, Slayer twice. There we got forty-three. Have all the levels we need for Rum Deal. But if we look here, we got. Oh, wait, where are the wines? Where's the wine? We got some wines. We got the, the War Priest boots. The master Clue we had. But we got some salvage. I meant to note that. But all right. I think that might be it, really. Infernal Ashes and Lantidime Seeds. Not much, but if we add all this, it's probably like 500k, 600 k 40k so we'll go sell that go get our cash stack up to like 6 million g 6 million 16 million gp and uh you know what we'll move on from there because we're six thousand xp away i sold the note paper that i got too so uh, we'll get our cash stack up to less than 17 million xp but i guys we're real close we are real close to 85 and that means that we can get new weapons so I think I'm going to go for the Wand and Orb of the Cyweer, Sweer, here. Oh, gosh. These. Uh, the Wand is 15 mil, the Orb is about 10 mil. So, oh, it's going down. But regardless, I mean, regardless of what it is, we are... Uh, Oh, I don't want to buy those. No, stop. I want to sell these for very cheap. We'll collect all that and, you know, get a little bit. Do I? What, what clues do I have? I've got a, one, a few hearts. I've got one easy and a master clue. There's almost no way I can do the master, right? Well, I mean, what are the master clue wrecks? Dare to laugh in the Green Ghost Inn at Port Phasmatus. Beware of double agents, equip an Ivan Staff, a Ghostly Cloak, and a Cavalier. That's not too difficult, but I can't do it. So, I mean, there, there's that. But, yeah, we're going to figure out what we're going to do next. Is that unfortunate? No, okay. We're going to figure out what we're going to do next, and we'll, we'll be on back. All right. I realized that we had uh, we actually had two monthly D&D &D token resets. So, uh, yes, I did convert my weekly ones to, to monthly ones, but that's because I like this one a whole lot more. So we're gonna go do uh we're gonna go do two more oysters, including the uh so we're gonna go ahead and reset the tutorial island oyster. I really hope that's how that works. I don't wanna deposit, I wanna dive. So let's see if we can go ahead and open this thing up. Oh we can, we can check it. Oh look at that. Two hundred K, you know, not much, but it's uh it's something and it's mostly elks. So gonna eat our pork pie and we're gonna do this whole song and dance again. And then we're gonna do it one more time. So, I have, uh, I have some unfortunate news. You cannot use it twice, so we did that one once. That's all right. It'll be okay. Look, I really have to console myself here, okay? I wanted to use it, but we're, next we're actually going to want to show you the, uh, the troll invasion, how to start that up, and what's going on there, I think. So, uh, don't mess up like I do and forget your runes. Otherwise, we're just going to take some, uh, I don't even think we need potions. We'll just bring those and then, uh, we'll bring a magic potion, but the rest, we're just going to bring belt fish and, uh, I guess we'll restore our prayer. First off, we're going to add, uh, I guess 2760 paper to this. See if we get a, uh, a level off that we do 59 construction that's what i like to see a few gp off the uh, the grand total to get into into priftiness but we're just going to falador to recharge the prayer and then we're gonna i'll see you guys in birthorp
So I caught myself. I actually didn't even have my staff. So what you do is you come up here and you right click Captain Drew. You hit start fighting. And uh, the first time you do it, you gotta you gotta go through this big old big old talk, and then you just tell him you know you want to do it, and then uh, he'll throw you onto the other side. And all you gotta do is kill some trolls. There's some that you want to prioritize, like the 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 bomber trolls and such. But all you gotta do is kill some trolls. And the first time you do it, it sort of sucks. The second time you do it on hard mode, boy, we're gonna fight the trolls. Uh, make sure you fight the trolls. If you defend the gatehouse, it's entirely different. Yes, let me defend the castle. The second time you do this, it is so much easier. And I didn't actually do it last month, so it that's a bit unfortunate. But yeah, we just sit up here. If you get a uh, if you get low HP or uh, prayer, you do that. I got a key apparently. It like consumed one of my fish to give me a key. That's weird, but yeah, if you get low HP or prayer, I think you can use this thing like three times, I'm not sure. But the first time you do it, there are 20 waves, and the second time you do it, there are seven. So, you know, it's a little easier, but at the end of this, you get a, a nice little XP book to put on anything, so this is all it is. Yep. It's, a, it's a good thing to do. I might reset it so I can show you the second one, too, but we'll see. I guess that I should have brought my Bone Crusher for this. But it's not too bad, you know, just losing out on a little bit of XP. I am sort of excited to train Dungeoneer. I don't know if I'm going to train Train Dungeoneering, or if I'm just going to try and find someone to do trash runs with all the way to 75 for this. Because, okay, so I'll walk you through my thought process as we do Troll Invasion real fast. My thought process is as follows. I need, I've done the math, for Prayer, Herblore, and construction, I'm going to need 19.4 mil. I want to upgrade my weapons that I got. Or that I am that I can use in, I mean, how much XP? 600? 5k. In 5k XP, the, the weapons I'll be able to use, I, like, it's a big upgrade. I'm currently using a tier 75. Don't stand in this, by the way. That, uh, that hurts a little bit. I'm currently using a tier 75, and what I would be upgrading to is a tier 80. 85 at that. So that is, that is a, a sizable upgrade. That I should definitely take seriously. So all that together is essentially, what, 30, 45 mil GP? I have 16 right now. Um, I've sort of put GP making on the back burner because of how, how easy it has been for me to do it. I mean, I've done it by almost accident, right? But I, I, I need to focus on making GP here. I actually need to, to focus, focus on it. I didn't even drink my, my magic potion. We'll do that now. But, I, I mean, do you see what I'm... Do you do you understand? What, do you, are you picking up what I'm putting down, brothers? But, uh... So, I'm going to have to put a serious... Uh, a semi-serious amount of effort into into money-making soon. And that that's okay. But, just... Man... Is it sort of upsetting because I have so much that I want to get done? Done. I, I really need to get uh, wood cutting done. Wood cutting is my last long skill that I'm going to have to do before I have to kill the bunyip. Before I get plague's end, I've finished agility. I mean, so right now the skills that I'm missing are let's see here: construction, dungeoneering, herb lore, prayer, ranged, summoning, and wood cutting. Um, oh, dynamite, yeah, destroys the table. Whoops. That's the one that you really want to prioritize. I didn't realize that we were on him, you know? Eh, it's wave 18. I, oh, I, what the heck? Wait, why did I surge? Why did I surge? I'm not, my hand is not even on my keyboard. I could not have done that. Interesting. Well, we're going to make sure that we kill dynamite this time. So, we'll be all right. Yeah, so, so, I mean, you basically watched me do the entire thing here. This is all this is. You, you prioritize the ones that hurt you. It's fine. And then uh, on wave 20 here, we should get... Yep, Cliff right here. Cliff comes on down, avoid the rocks, and you are all good. Uh, this that is That is the boss right there. That is the boss of Troll Invasion. And now, in the end, I should get... A, a nice little XP lamp, or uh, sorry, a, a nice little XP book here. Yeah, you receive a reward book. You made it to wave 20, so 
right here. We're going to plant this firmly onto summoning, and that gave us 33k XP. So it is very sizable. You can do this, unfortunately, only once a month. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get out our Bone Crusher and do the second wave. And we're going to get our, uh, our uh, reset token uh, monthly. We're going to get our monthly reset token, and we are going to go ahead and reset Troll Invasion, even though we just did it. And now, we're going to right-click Start Fighting, and this time, when he gives us the option, we're going to pick Hard Mode. Hard Mode is way faster. Hard is 7 waves max. This is our quick start. So, this is... But what it does is it starts you off against all of them at the very beginning, and it is... <laughs> this is so much nicer, honestly. Like, you just put on auto-retaliate, and it's over. But, I mean, it, this is a, it's the same thing. You don't need to watch me do it again. You do not need to watch me do it again. Look, we got another treasure token key. I don't know if you just get a, one of those every time you come in here or what. But you do not need to watch me do it again. So, uh, I'll see you guys when I c uh, get the XP book. There we are. That one was uh, way faster than the first one. So, we finished all seven. And I think Hardwood might give us a different one, a different XP book. So we'll see. We'll see if we get another 33k XP off this. And we got another 33k. So that is 66 summoning. So that is, I mean, that was 70k summoning experience. So we just got in combat 112. But uh, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit when I, you know, common theme, when I figure out what I'm doing. That is, we're just sitting here alking some of our uh, relics from ED3, and we got 85 magics. <laughs> that gives us sunshine once we do the World Wake, so that is now on my list. Staff of Darkness, you know, if we want to spend uh, 50 mil or so. The Sea Singer Kiba, if we had ports unlocked. And then the Wand and Orb of the Sea Weir Elders. Camel Staff is also real expensive, so... We're going to look for those, but, yeah, we're going to keep alking here till I really know what's going on, but, yeah. I did decide what we are going to do here. I finished off alking everything I had and uh, selling a few things, and we are up to 20 mil. I sold all the spirit shards we bought earlier. It's static GP, and I, I sort of need the liquid cash right now, even though I'm about to be training uh, summoning. So we are going to go. We are actually going to go get 60 attack and strength up here in the abyss. We got a... Uh, a uh, good old, let's see here, let's change it up to number one. We got our good old revolution bar. We are alone here. Look at that. We have auto retaliate on, and we got our charming imp. So this should go fairly fast. The charming imp is eating golds and greens, and it's giving me reds and blues. It's also eating the abyssals, so we should be all good. This should be super fast. We're starting at 1026. We'll see how long this takes. Quick update. We just got 80 HP, which means we can actually wear the next sets, as if we could afford those. I mean, let's just see. Let's just, for the sake of it, Virtus armor is, um... Oh, okay, sorry, I, I searched Vert. Virtus Armor is 82 million uh, gold pieces right now, and uh, we're not getting that anytime soon, so I think that's the cheapest of all of them. <laughs> so, mm, we, you know what, we're, we're going to be all right for a minute. Here we go, we got uh, 1.6k to go, and that should be real fast here with another uh, AoE ability. We finish off 60 attack. We do not. We'll, we'll go ahead and get the 60 strength. Then we'll teleport out of here, and I'll tell you my plans for tomorrow. What I think is going to happen. Tomorrow's my last day off. I didn't get as much. I feel like I say that every episode uh, or every weekend. I, I didn't get as much done as I hoped I would, but I feel like I got a fair amount done for uh, what was, well, possible for me. You know, I finished up some some elite clues but there we go you know i did not get that many charms but we got the 60 strength so tomorrow i'm going to be doing some questing uh the quests i'll be doing are we'll see here underground pass regicide roving elves lunar diplomacy and dream mentor so we'll see what's going on there but it's now late and i am going to I want to sell this here. Oh, did I just watch that guy get the invention pet? Uh, no. Okay. I want to sell this thing here. Yeah, it's not much, but you know, it's something. 
and we'll use up our keys, and I'll be logging off for the, well, I'll be, uh, I'll be woodcutting tonight, you know, while I AFK do a few things, but three falling stars in construction, we're just gonna take the guaranteed times three, give me that 200 mil GP, give me 600 mil right here, look at that, give me, put that in my backpack, I'm about to sell that right off, and give me the times three here, protein logs, that's fine, go ahead and bank those up, and we will use all, oh, those are all construction, okay, well, that's a little less GP I gotta spend now, and we'll go ahead and sell this stuff, get a few hundred K more, look at that, almost 21 mil GP, looks like we can loot this cracker over here, see what we get, there's a ton of stuff we get to do right now, we got a crate with three bonus XP stars, we're gonna put it all into summoning, like always, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna AFK some, some wood cutting tonight, and we'll I'll be back tomorrow morning with the, the, the second half of this episode. Alright, so here we are during uh, Underground Pass. And there, I don't have a plank in my inventory. You don't need one for, for any of these. Normally what you'll do is you'll put a plank down on this flat rock, and then your character will walk across it. If you just walk here to the square, or to the, uh, to the hex right before it, and then walk through, it won't damage you. This is because whenever you run in RuneScape, your character actually teleports from this square to this square because you don't spend any time there. If you walk, if you're walking, then you spend a time on each or on each square or each hex or whatever whatever the system is, right? But yeah, so if you just run across these, you don't actually ever take damage. Here we are in the Ardoin Castle. We're going to talk to King Lathis and finish this shop underground pass. Ah, it doesn't give much XP, but, you know, it gives a little bit. That quest wasn't too bad. I think I failed one agility obstacle once. So, that wasn't too bad. We got a, a few keys, and now we're going to need that for regicide. However, we have to wait for regicide, so we're going to go woodcut until then. Um... Yeah, so <laughs> for regicide, we gotta wait for someone to come get us. So because we're gonna wait, we're gonna go bank all this stuff. We did get Ivan's staff. Uh, it's pretty garbage, but it's there. You know, it's, it's a tier 50 staff. If you're an Iron Man, maybe that's useful for you. We're gonna bank all this. We got two keys. Open them up. We got strength room crafting times three. Give me any times three reward. Medium star. Oh, a guaranteed purple? I mean, it's definitely going to be a lucky item, but I'm going to take it. It could be 200 mil. Balancing wand. Lucky chaotic staff. Hold on here. What is a balancing wand that lets you impressively balance on your hand as you walk between... We're taking this. This is a tier 80. Yep, backpack. That's not my weapon. I lie. I'm sad. Um, hmm. Well, I hope I didn't make a mistake with the balancing wand. Um. No, okay, cool. Yeah, I did not. So, eh, that's fine. We'll get a uh, 80 engineering soon enough, but put all those onto summoning right there. We are up to 295k. And we will, uh. Yeah, we're gonna wait for Regicide to come to us. So, we're gonna go ahead and woodcut for a little bit. I did not even get through one full inventory of woodcutting here. In that this little king's messenger comes up. You read the king's message and now that might have already started regicide. Uh or doing why what in the world is this quest lit? Like I know I separated it by by area, but this is so weird. So Tyrnwin is not any of those. Ardoin Regicide. There we go. So, we can go ahead and get everything we need for that quest going, and uh, unfortunately, this is the one where you have to make the, the stupid the stupid things, so we'll be back at the at the GE when I have all that stuff ready. Or, we'll be back at the end of the quest. I gotta go to the GE to get all that stuff. And we get the tier and win lodestone. That's one more log knocked off of our list. Alright, I wasn't recording, but there was a penguin here <clears throat> that, that said pe Spy Agent 001, and I, I hit Spy on it, and he left me a clue casket, so I guess we have a clue casket? 
So we just got it. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a we got a fortunate component. Just a few minutes after we got the samurai cloak, we uh we got we finished up regicide. So we're actually gonna go get not our last piece. I don't think. Now there's there's one more medium. Uh, medium die, but we're gonna go get a medium die, which is a free 500k, plus maybe a fortunate component. There's a chance we don't, but we, uh, go ahead and talk to May. Open up the shop. We can go ahead and get some boots, which I believe those are tier 75. We got our die. Roll that, see what we should get, 500k GP, and perhaps a fortunate, maybe? Let's see. Ooh, shield, I don't think... Oh, it is. So we got a few fortunates to to go and sell. And look at these, these boots of trials. So I equipped them, and now they are a tier 75 hybrid set. And that is absolutely awesome. Uh, along with my War Priest will be some of my best armor for ranged until I can afford Armadil. So we're going to go ahead and start roving elves after we get all this stuff sold. I guess I'll include this. Um, This is a fortunate, and so... The fact that it's in here at 850k, I shouldn't have. I should have put it in at like 1.1 mil because it could have easily sold for this. But it actually sold for 1.4 mil. So we're up to 23 mil. Oh, you know what? How close are we? 10.2. Okay. What if I were to do that instead? 10.213. Oh, man. You know what? We're gonna see, we're gonna put an offer in for 13 mil here. And for the orb, we're gonna put an offer in for 9.5 and see what happens. If we if we get those, I will be real happy, but we're just gonna see, <laughs> we're down to one mil. But if it works out, this is a, it's a big upgrade for us. All right, well that just happened, our, uh, <laughs> our wand bot. So we'll see if, uh, Oh, man. Uh, so we'll see if the... There they are. Okay, look. I'm going to I'm gonna start this quest. But as soon as I get over to the GE, I'm going to sell my Staff of Light. So I have a little bit of cash. All right, I got here. And as soon as I sold the Staff of Light, the orb bot. So we have tier 85 weapons. These are going to last us until we get, like, a Nox. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, a Nox are, like, an obliteration or something, you know. I think that's what, I think that's what it is, but... Oh man, I am, I am ecstatic right now. We can do bossing, guys. We can actually go bossing. <sighs> so for, let's see here. So if we want to change up our, what's it called? Just a little bit, our action bar, just a little bit for better DPS here now. It will be combust then wild magic now and then asphyxiate let's see impact after asphyxiate and then we can't actually use sonic blast so we gotta look for cons right there and then we'll keep tsunami on the bar all right so we have tier 85s guys that's absolutely awesome here we are to finish up Roving Elves. All we gotta do is, uh, I think, well, I say, I say finish up. This is the, the last part of the quest. You come in here, you plant this tree, and the tree grows up nice and big, and then I think we get a, is that it? Yep, <laughs> so that's it, so now we go on back. But uh, I thought this was the end, I was wrong. Uh, we'll be back at the actual end screen. Okay, now we'll finish up the quest by talking to yeah, Isovin here. And we get, yeah, we're going to take the, we're going to take the uh, crystal bow because that's a tier 70 weapon. <laughs> so that is absolutely awesome. 10k strength XP, you know, not much, but we finished that up. We got a few keys to open up and I think that's probably going to be the end of uh, this episode here. We'll take the times four. Come on, give me times four, 200 mil, easy. Wicked hood, room crafting, yeah. Cooking, give me the times three, 600 mil, easy. Ooh. We're going to actually take this. We're going to take the golem outfit. Because the rest will get turned into into Ottomans, I think. 
Summoning. Ooh, but but a guaranteed summoning. Yeah, let's take that. Let's take that. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. It's not just a small fallen star. Look at that. It's a large star. And then uh, dungeoneering, thieving. We'll take the times three. And these skills are easy. These skills are easy. Look, we're mad. Oh well. Hmm. I don't like bonus XP in combats. It's just combats are so heckin' fast. It's not necessary. Use all those up, and we are uh. 332k <laughs> bonus XP in summoning. All right, but like I said, that's probably the end of the episode here. I gotta go. I gotta go bank. We'll just go to Wars Retreat. But uh, yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen next episode. I uh, gotta AFK for a little bit. Get some get some stuff done today. But that's what it is, you know. So we'll be all right. Probably train some train up some. Uh, oh, that's what, probably. Uh, Reason, within reason what we will do is train some melee because that is why that that's why we did these quests is that regicide unlocks the dragon halberd for us and roving elves unlocks the crystal one for us at 70 so this is our melee gear now not all of it we're missing our ring there's our ring but i sort of really want to try some bossing since we got some some tier 85s so that is probably what's going to be up today just a lot of bossing i'm really excited for